everyone, we are from the BBS team and we would like to introduce you to Fibonacci sequence. Once upon a time, there was a boy called Leonardo Fibonacci. Hello everybody. So, he, his parents brought him a pair of rabbits. After a month, the pair of rabbits turned into adults and prepared for mating. I was so surprised and happy. He kept recording the number of rabbits until he had the number of rabbits he wanted. First, my parents brought me a pair of rabbits. In the first month, that pair of rabbits grows up. In the second month, that pair of rabbits produces another pair of rabbits. In the third month, that pair of rabbits create another pair of rabbits. And the pair of rabbits that were created last month grows up. If we continue this pattern and keep growing rabbits like this, I'm going to have 144 pair of rabbits. That means that I will have a pack of rabbits. What is the Fibonacci sequence? The Fibonacci sequence is a series of numbers that follow unique integral sequence. These numbers generate mathematical patterns that can be found in all aspects of life. The patterns can be seen in everything, from the human body to the physiology of plants and animals. Are this number? This number are a numeric survey made with a simple rule of formation. By definition, the first two Fibonacci numbers are 0 and 1. Each remaining number is a sum of the previous two numbers. And then, here was the first 15 Fibonacci number. Of course, there are infinity terms. But why are it so special with this number? My friend will tell you all about it. The good ratio is the thing that makes those numbers special. The good ratio also known as this. This rectangle is made using a special ratio between its long and its wide. The good ratio also called phi. In nature, I'm many claim the number of bell is a Fibonacci number. In science, the A of B equal to 1.61A. In architecture, the golden proportion is used in many famous buildings, from the Great Pyramid to the Notre Dame in France. Using the golden proportion, we could follow the proportion of nature. It became an important book in the design of art and architecture and renaissance. In art and painting, the golden ratio is used today in many modern designs. Here is an Apple logo. The Apple logo is using the circle with Fibonacci's number. 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, and 13. Here is some examples. The Man of Beruto, the Mona Lisa, the Bird of Venice. And it's also used in credit card. This is the golden rectangle. Thank you for listening and we hope you enjoy. Remember, we are the BBIS team.